All right, so let's learn something really fancy yet very simple, which is BioPython. Now, BioPython is a package in Python which helps you to sort of uh, play with a different kinds of sequences, different kinds of bioinformatics tool, and you know, with just a few lines of codes, which would have would have taken a lot of lines of codes if we would have done it with normal Python. So first, in order to use BioPython, you need to install BioPython into your system. And even before that, you need to install Python into your system. So once you install Python into your system, then what I need you to do is open up command prompt and over here type in PIP, which is Python package installer, hit space, write install and say bio Python and hit enter. Once you hit enter, um, since over here I have already installed BioPython, it is saying requirement already satisfied. But in your case, it is going to install BioPython along with another package which is called NumPy, which is required in BioPython for a lot of different functions. So these two would be installed and then you're good to go. So I'm going to close out command prompt and over here I have Visual Studio code where I'm going to write all my codes. So for those of you who don't know, Visual Studio Code is a code editor which is developed by Microsoft and it is freely available on the internet on their website. You can just type in Visual Studio Code or VS Code into Google and it is going to give you a link for downloading this uh, software which you can install and you can set it up and then you're good to go. So First, what I've done, what I've already done is I have created this file called Python or this folder called Python inside which I have this globin.fasta sequence file where I have, let me show it to you, I have six different sequences of globins from organisms of ky kinetoplastida, which I'm going to use in a little bit. But the main thing that I wanted to do is create a Python file which is of the extension .py over here. So my file name is biopython.py and after this, what you need to do, you need to come back to Visual Studio Code, go up to File, hit Open Folder and you need to open the folder which contains those things into Visual Studio Code. And once you do that, you'll have the folder over here showing you the files that are inside. Now, whatever codes I'm going to write, I'm going to write it inside this biopython.py or whatever you have named it, the Python file. Okay, so first, to use any package in Python, what you need to do, you need to import that package into Python, right? Or import a few modules into Python from a package. Okay, so the first module or the first functions that we need are in something called seq or seek. So I'm going to write from bio.seq import seek. So this is exactly what you need to write. If you mess it up, if uh, the B is not in caps or the S is not in caps, uh, it, you're going to mess it up. So you need to write exactly this in order to import this module of BioPython into your environment of working. And once you do that, you can take a variable. For me, I'm going to take DNA as a variable because I'm going to write a, in a DNA sequence. So DNA equals to, now here's the difference. If this would have been normal Python, what you will do is just give the inverted commas and you're going to write the sequence inside this, which is going to be, of course, A, T, G, and C. But since this is BioPython, we do it a little bit differently. You need to write seek, you need to give, um, you need to give brackets and inside this, you're going to write the string of 
sequence that you want to uh, you know want to work with so I'm gonna just type in a random sequence containing A's T's G's and C's so just anything in random you know I think this is enough and now what I can do I can I can check whether I have written everything correctly just by printing the sequence I'm gonna call in my DNA variable inside which the sequence is uh, present I'm gonna hit run and you're gonna see this in the terminal now if you do not see it in the terminal I mean if you do not see the terminal at all uh, just go up to view and over here you have an option for viewing the terminal so once you click that the terminal is going to appear so what I've written it is correct now since I already have the sequence I want to do another thing with the sequence which is making a complement pair of the sequence so this is very easy in biopython if it would have been normal python uh, I, I first need to put a reference table and from that I need to uh, match out a to t, t to a, c to g and g to c after that I need to call in that reference table and give in my sequence as an argument which is going to give me back the uh, the references of the sequences in a string format which is going to be my complement sequence I know that sounds hugely complicated so to simplify that you can use just one thing in biopython that is DNA which is the variable in which the sequence is there dot complement and do not forget to add the brackets after this so this bracket is for the print statement but these brackets are for this method that we're performing on the sequence right so if you do not give this empty brackets the program is going to not run properly so I'm gonna hit run again and you can see I have the sequence over here which is exactly this and the river uh, I mean the complement of this sequence right so T in place of A, A in place of T, C in place of G and G in place of C so now I know it is correct another thing that I want to do is create the reverse complement of this sequence that is the complement in the in a backward manner so C would come first then T then A so it is going to be written backwards right from here so for that again print DNA dot reverse underscore underscore complement right and again you cannot forget the brackets so once you once you have completed this I'm gonna clear the console a little bit and I'm gonna hit run so you have the DNA sequence the complement of that DNA sequence finally the reverse complement so CTA CTA and you have the rest of the thing as a reverse complement so this is one of the thing that you can do with uh, biopython now moving on to the next one another example that uh, another thing that you can do in biopython is work with faster files or sequence files in general it can be faster it can be gene bank file anything in order to import any faster file or any sequence file into your terminal or in your console uh, what you need to do you need to again import another module from biopython this is a little bit different from bio you just need to write bio not bio.seq because that was different import seek io and this io stands for input and output so you're working with input and output of sequence files so seek io input and output of sequence files next you need to pull in a for loop so for sequence I'm gonna use this as a variable a random variable which will only work inside the for loop in seek io dot parse because I'm parsing the file so you need to write these exact words 
and do not worry you do not need to remember all this uh, the documentation of biopython it sort of gives you everything so you do not need to remember anything you can just refer to the biopython documentation on the website which i'm going to put a link in the description and you will get everything that you need over there the codes and uh, how the output is going to look like uh, what input you should give and everything so parse i'm going to give a bracket and inside the bracket the first thing that i want to give is the name of the faster file that i want to use in the console so globin dot faster and i also need to specify the type of the file right so two um, inverted commas and inside them the first one is the name of the file and the next one is the format so i'm gonna close this out and since i'm using a for loop i need to give a colon which makes this for block and the indentation is going to change uh, it is a little bit tapped out from here and over here I need to first write what I want to do is print out the sequence dot ID I mean the ID of the sequence the second thing I want to print out is sequence dot seek which is the actual sequence and finally I want to print out the the length of the length of the sequence okay so I need to change this a little bit so this one I need to write REPR so representation of the sequence and again I need to close the bracket so this bracket is just for the sequence.seq and this is for the print and for the ID I do not need to do anything so fancy just sequence.id right and this is going to work I guess um, after this uh, length of sequence prep uh, representation of sequence sequence.id yeah and let me clear this out so that you don't confuse I'm gonna run it and you can see over here this these three were the first uh, three things that we printed out and after this this is my first sequence uh, I mean this is the ID of the uh, I mean uh, ID of the faster sequence this is the sequence and this is the length right yeah this is the length right again this is the ID this is the sequence and this is length ID sequence length ID sequence length ID sequence and length and it goes on this is how you can pull in faster uh, I mean you can see the faster sequences right so you can see over here this faster sequence they do not show you the whole sequence just they show you that the sequence is there they not show you the whole sequence you have a little dot 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 over here and then the rest of the sequence so for this you can use this uh, sequence uh, uh, I mean sequence uh, sequence IO input output from the biopython and you are good to go so apart from this there are tons and tons of functions and methods you can use from biopython you can check them out in the documentation um, which I'm going to be linking in the description you're going to get it with the first link in the description so uh, try it out and let me know if you have any questions and I had fun sharing this so do share your experiences of biopython how you're doing it what work you're using it for and all that good stuff so I'm going to end the video over here and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.